All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP Pavilion laptop model 15-CS0064ST. All right, model information is right there. Okay, so it looks like they dropped it or something and one of the screws kind of popped off or broke. But um, let's go ahead and remove the screws here on the bottom. All right, we're going to be using a JAS0. And then we're also going to need a JS1. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern. I remove them. So we got three down here. <clears throat> and then we got um, several underneath. I think we have some under here and possibly some under here. All right. So I'm going to switch over to the JS1 screwdriver. <clears throat> we do need to remove these little rubber feet. I just use my fingernail to get in the edge and kind of lift it up. Uh, you can use whatever works for you. Um, pry tools or whatever okay so we're going to peel these off all right you can see there's two hidden under this side and one here all right i don't know if there's screws under these but let's peel it up just to see okay i think there aren't so we'll leave the rubber feet in hopefully the other side doesn't have one because i'm only going to check that one okay let's go ahead and remove these screws again using the jas1 screwdriver just like this and then these two. Alright, usually these, the bottom covers, are a little bit difficult to remove. So you are probably going to have to use some sort of pry tool to get this off. But let's see. Okay, since they have like a damage here, it might come off easier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, usually it's kind of difficult to remove. Like I'd have to use this kind of tool and get in the edges and then kind of like pry it up where I can find a gap. You can see like it's really difficult to get this out okay okay you can hear the clips popping up and i think usually you don't even go from the front um the front usually have like special hinges so we're going to go continue going along the side well wow, a lot of their casing is actually like popping out here oh this side's like really stuck there we go okay once you get it lifted up once you get the sides up, you can kind of pull on the side so it curls in like that. Um, and then that will help kind of pop these clips out. All right. And then we're just going to continue going along the back here. Okay. Get in there and just continue popping these out. Oh, it doesn't work. There's also clips in the middle that are really difficult to remove. So, yeah. Hmm. Actually, that side doesn't want to come out. Let's see if we can go from the front then. Or is it going to be easier from this side? There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's easier from this side because it has more. So, I'm again, I'm flexing it. I'm pushing down so it bends in like that. And then you can see most of these clips already came out. We do have to kind of get further inside. And then you can kind of continue flexing it. And there we go. Okay, now that we got that, we can kind of wiggle that. And here we go, we got the bottom cover off. Okay, it is pretty dusty in here, so I will have to clean that up. Their hard drive is dead, so that's why we're opening this opening this up to replace the hard drive. We're going to put a um, SSD in there. There is actually an Intel Optane SSD in here, but we are going to remove that because... Um, yeah, this one a lot of times ends up causing issues, so we're going to remove that. But after seeing that this is in there, you can actually upgrade to a um, M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, but the customer kind of just wants the um, cheapest upgrade, so we're going to put a 480 gig, all right, 2.5 inch SATA SSD. All right, as you can see, I'm flipping this latch open to take the hard drive out. Okay, so once you flip that latch up, so there's this little black latch there, just flip it up, all right, just like that. Then you can grab here, kind of pull it up slightly, and then pull it back, okay? You have to pull it up slightly because the wings of the connector get caught down there. And then let's go ahead and remove the two screws holding this bracket in place. Okay, once you get those two screws out, we can lift this up. Um, so if you can, you can go from here and then just pull up from these things, or you can get a good size screwdriver bit, like a T8 Torx 8. You can get it in this screw hole for the hard drive, and then you can use that to kind of pry it up this way. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the replacement hard drive here. All right, 
And we're gonna go ahead and remove this rubber piece. Just kind of wiggle it and pull it out. Make sure you put it back the same way on the new one. Just like this. Okay, we are gonna have to remove the two screws to remove this metal bracket. There's also adhesive holding this piece down. So we are gonna have to peel this up. All right, go kind of slow and be careful not to um, crease this thing. Okay, so I'm pulling it back as I'm slowly peeling it, like rotating it to peel it up. And you wanna be careful at the last part here so you don't break that, okay? There we go. Then I'm gonna use my fingernail in here and then I'm just gonna push it out like that. Use that and then pry it out like that. All right, you wanna be very careful because if you damage this, you won't have a hard drive. Uh, you won't be able to use the hard drive slot anymore. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this onto the new one. Um, if you do somehow break this cable, I mean, you can use the uh, M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD slot. It is actually a faster type of drive, so actually that would be a good thing. All right, we're gonna remove the two screws from this bracket here. Now that we got both screws out, we're gonna set the old hard drive aside. We'll put this onto here and we'll get the two hard drive screws back in. It's good to just loosely fit it first, okay? Don't tighten it down right away. All right, so that way the thing can move around and you can line it up and then get that screw in, okay? There we go and there we go. Okay, now that we got that in, we gotta get these little feet in the thing here first. So slide it in sideways like that. Then you can lower it down and then make sure these little posts line up. There we go, just like that. We'll get these screws back in. All right, then we're gonna get this cable back in. Just like that, wiggle it, there we go, and then slide our finger over to latch it down. Okay, and that's it for the hard drive upgrade. Um, I'm just going to show the little components that are in here. So you have this cable going to this for the SD card slot. You got this cable going to here for the two USB ports here, okay. Got the DC jack charge port connector here underneath the hinge. You do have to take these two screws out to lift the hinge up so that you can get this out. And then the cable runs along down here and plugs in right there. You got two wireless antennas. One goes to the black arrow and then the number two goes to the white arrow. Okay. Um, if you need the information on the like model number information, it's a 7265 NGW. All right got the fan here you got this to disconnect if you want to disconnect the fan all right um, and then this fan looks like you can remove it just by removing these three screws um, the heat sink is here um, so if you need to redo thermal paste CPU is soldered to the motherboard so yeah you got the keyboard backlight connector here keyboard connector here you got the touchpad trackpad connector there LCD LVDS connector here. If you're gonna mess with this connector, make sure that you disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power before messing with that. You got this connector here for the speakers. Um, one speaker's here, then there's a wire that goes along underneath to this speaker. You can actually see the wire here to that speaker. All right, then last thing we got is the RAM. Pop the two sides like that, pops out. All right, and you got a PC4. 2400T so you should be fine with any PC4 2400T so if you want to upgrade to like 32 gigs of RAM or something you can do that there's a little dust under this side not much but I am gonna have to take out the whole thing and clean it up because it's pretty dusty then just click that down all right then here to remove the battery you got uh, three two screws it looks like okay actually there's two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom Okay, battery model number is right here, HT03XL. So if you need a battery, that's the model information. Get these screws out and these screws out. All right, 
there we go let's go ahead and pop the battery out so to get the battery out i go underneath these two pieces you can probably even you can use this one as well just be careful not to damage the keyboard cable and then just pull straight up like that it swings up you can slide that out and there you can see underneath the touchpad trackpad all right now that i got this open i'll just clean some of the dust off the bottom okay we'll get this back in to get it back you put the bottom first drop it down and then push that into place I like to kind of also pinch it together like that okay and that's just about it we're gonna I'm gonna clean the dust out and then we're just gonna put the bottom cover back on and that's all there is to it all right so hopefully this video helped you guys out all right get this one in and the last one And then if you want to boot from a Windows USB installer, um, all you got to do is when you turn it on, um, you press the, let's see, F9 key, I believe. Yeah, F9 key, and that should let you boot from an external device, all right? Um, I think F10 is like the BIOS settings if you wanted to change that for any reason, but uh, all right, let's see here. We'll get like a thumbnail, zoom out a little bit more more okay so we'll get this for a thumbnail okay i'm gonna clean the dust off and i'll be back um we'll just put the bottom cover back on all right see you guys then all right so i'm back you can see it's a lot cleaner now all right clean the bottom cover too. one thing i forgot to mention um the battery the main battery also acts as the CMOS BIOS uh, real-time clock, RTC battery, whatever you want to call it. So keep that in mind. Once you remove this battery, it's going to take a while to boot back up because of that. So yeah, all right. We're going to start with the bottom here. So we're going to raise it up slightly so that you can see the edge lines up down here. Okay. And this side, because it's dented, isn't going to go, but there we go. Then we're going to go ahead and push in on the sides as well as down okay just like that to pop the clips and then same thing with this push in towards the center of the computer as well as down okay and then you can clip the center in just like that all right and now we just gotta get the screws back in and that's pretty much all there is to it <clears throat> oh shoot did i i need to put back the screw for the um m.2 ssd here that means now I gotta pop this all back up. So let's get this back popped up again. Come on, there we go. Okay, just like that. Pull this in again. Okay, so here you can see it's easier now. That we kind of know. In there, push that in while pulling on it. Should be able to get most of it up. Okay, that side, half of it. And I'll get this side up. Come on, unclip. There we go. Pull that in. There we go. Okay. This clip down there always holds really strong. So I kind of grab here and pull, pull like this. <laughs> All right, wiggle that, there we go. Okay, let's get this screw back in. Just like that. Okay, and then we'll get this back in. Again, make sure the bottom's all lined up. <clears throat> and then work your way up the sides just like this and then clip that in all right all right now we just get the screws back in and we're good to go all right <clears throat> and that's pretty much all there is to it <clears throat> again hopefully this video helps you guys out if it did please make sure to like subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade their computers as well. Leave a comment because YouTube likes to see that. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. 
every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, let's get these last few screws back in. Switch back over to the JS one or zero to get these two bottom screws in. Also, after disconnecting the battery, it will take a while to start up again because the BIOS battery was removed. If I didn't already mention that, so keep that in mind. All right, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna connect a Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB to try and install Windows on there, and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.